Hey guys, another quick reminder that I'm doing a Q&A to celebrate 2.5 thousand subscribers. So if you have any questions for me, leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them in the Q&A. And yeah, let's get back to the video. What's up everyone, Full Animix here. So one month ago, I had a bit of a video game burnout. There were no good games coming out and the games that I normally played like Dragon Ball Fighters and Apex started to get a bit repetitive, which resulted in me being incredibly bored out of my mind. But it was in said month, my friend introduced me to a game that he had played for a ridiculous amount of hours, which was World of Warships. World of Warships is a team-oriented strategy game where you are put in charge of warships. As you progress through the game you start unlocking bigger and better warships in order to fight the enemy team's bigger and better warships. There are various game modes like co-op, random battles and okay this is starting to sound like a sponsored video. So for the past month I've been pretty much playing WoWs and I think I can come out and say that I'm addicted to it. But this isn't the point of the video. WoWs has introduced me to my love of warships and I decided to sit down and watch some warship anime. Now Wales has done collabs with some of these shows and seeing them in the game enticed me ever more to just start watching them. And it's these shows that we're gonna talk about today. So without further ado and without more procrastinating, let's talk about some warship anime. First up on the bucket list, we have a Zero Lane, AKA Anime Warships Fan Service Edition. Aliens have invaded Earth and humanity is unable to withstand the aliens' superior technology until four nations form a Zero Lane to fight back against the sirens, I got bored saying aliens. Everything seemed to be going well until two nations had different ideals. They left Azura Lane to form the Red Axis. Now Azura Lane must fight the sirens and the Red Axis to save humanity. Now, I don't know why and I don't know where I got this idea from, but reading this plot reminds me way too much of Avatar. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> there was peace throughout the land, but that all changed when the Sakura Empire attacked. <laughs> Anyways, the show still sucks. For a normal person watching the show, it's really hard to keep track of characters. You have Enterprise, Belfast, Javelin, Laffy, Unicorn, Anami, Akagi, Kaga, and these are just the main characters of the show. And that's not even to mention all the other characters like Cleveland, Amagi, Prince Yugen, Zukaku, Prince Wales, Illustrious, Z23, Hornet, Yorktown, Sheffield, Edinburgh, and Otago. There are so many any goddamn character. And there's not even all the side characters. <laughs> but Azura Lane is definitely the weakest show out of the three. The plot is boring, the story is predictable, and unfortunately fan service can't save every show. With some minor exceptions. Next we have High School Fleet, aka Anime Warships Moe Edition. A group of high school girls are put in charge of a destroyer class warship. Yes, I see no problem with this, and it will never totally go wrong. One thing leads to another, and the group is accused of mutiny. Now, if you're actually into warships like myself, this might be your type of anime, is what I would say. The action scenes are pretty cool, and the thought of one destroyer taking on ships like Masashi is just funny to me. <laughs> but if you still want to watch the show, it still means you have to deal with 20 high school girls talking for 14 episodes and a movie, not to mention all the other side characters. As much as I love warships and having three Yamatos on screen, it's still not really worth watching. The protagonist is annoying, the plot gets thrown out the window, and the protagonist is very annoying. Wait, I already said that. Finally, we have Can Kali, AKA Anime Warships, not even in WoW's edition. Now, ironically enough, my favorite out of the three is the one that's not even in WoW's. Don't ask me why, as I've already forgotten. Now, the reason why I like Can Kali the most is that the show is semi half decent and the movie is all right as well. Just kidding, the real reason is that we got Yamato Waifu, let's freaking go! The real reason why I didn't like Azura Lane is that it didn't even have Yamato in the show or the game, and it boiled my blood. But now my satisfaction has been satisfied, with best waifu throughout all the shows appearing in Can Collie. With her big 460mm guns, she can overpen me any day. <laughs> 
Back on topic, the movie had a really dark theme at some points, which I kind of liked, and Congo's English moments being accurate because she's not actually Japanese but British, which was really cool. But other than that, and best girl Yamato, there's really nothing too great about Ken Colley. And I have no idea what the plot was, and Fubuki has way too much plot armor. Overall, these shows suck. Now for an avid WoWs player like me, I enjoyed this a little bit more than the average person. Mainly because I knew all the warship names, and I could go like, huh, that's what this warship would look like if it was an anime girl. But to a normal watcher, it's not really meant for everyone. Now I don't really recommend this show because you're just not going to enjoy it as much as I did at least. But if you want to see some fan service and some thick ass waifus, then maybe this show could be for you. And who knows, if you just play WoWs and then watch the show, you could find some enjoyment. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.